Hello, everyone. Who would have believed our good old Yellowstone will one day turn into an entire universe with multiple spin-offs? Well, we were certainly aware of the potential of this show, but also couldn't imagine that it would reach such a level. First, Taylor Sheridan, the brilliant creator of the show, announced that there will be two more shows within the same universe with Yellowstone, 1883 and Four Sixes. The news was unexpected, but everyone welcomed them with open arms as we were already obsessed with Yellowstone. And yet, the only details about the show that we knew at the time were the fact that 1883 was a prequel and Four Sixes was taking place in the Four Sixes Ranch in Texas. Thankfully, just these were more than enough for us to be excited about what to expect from the Yellowstone universe. The release of 1883, however, has changed everything. Why? Well, because the show was much better than we expected. Okay, Sheridan has never produced a bad show, but still, we couldn't imagine a prequel to be almost as good as the original material. Yes, you heard it right. 1883 was a brilliant show that could only match the quality of Yellowstone. First of all, this show had a sensitive meaning for the fans of Yellowstone. It was focusing on the early Duttons and was shedding light on why Montana was such a valuable location for them. We got the answer to the question of why the Dutton family legacy is very attached to this specific land and has no intention to trade it for any amount of money in the world. The show followed James and Margaret Dutton as well as their children Elsa and John Sr. Even though the series started as if James and Margaret were the focus points soon, it turned out to be a story of Elsa as she moved from childhood to adulthood within only a few months. Her lifespan was short but highly dynamic as she lived events worth an entire lifetime. She fell in love twice and also found out what she wants in life. She realized that she isn't a woman bound to a man by the norms of the era. She also realized that she has her own rules and will not obey any order easily. She refused to wear dresses, never escaped from a fight, and has always taken bold decisions. Does she sound familiar? Yes, she sounds a lot like Beth and we finally know where her strength is coming from. In the end, Elsa's fast life didn't last for long as she got deadly injured and could only stand until they reached Montana. There, she met a Native American tribe. They tried to heal her, but all of their attempts have failed. When James realized that there was no chance left for Elsa, he decided to accept their fate and say goodbye to his daughter. Elsa was strong enough to choose a location for her to be buried so that the family can settle around her grave. She has chosen a great location in the Montana mountains. Originally, Duttons were determined to move to Oregon, but Elsa made them promise to settle in Montana so that she wouldn't be alone. There, she said goodbye to life laying on her father's lap. It was a very tragic moment since a very young woman passed away for no reason at all. Her injury was a mistake and almost all tragedies in her life could have been prevented if there were better communication between enemy groups. Unfortunately, Elsa has become the victim of her era, where there wasn't enough medicine, treatment, transportation, or peace, and yet. She was a lucky woman since she had an amazingly supportive family and brilliant two men who loved her dearly. Her death added meaning and value to the Montana soil and solidified the Dutton presence in this magical land. Now, all we want is to welcome 1883 Season 2 so that we can see what will happen next in the Dutton family legacy. 1883 Season 2 has been a topic of discussion since 1883 Season 1 wrapped up a couple of months ago. Now that we are finally in Montana, we want to see how well they build their ranch, make acquaintances in the place, form relations with the Native American tribes, and deal with the loss of Elsa. Unfortunately, we don't think we will be able to see any of these anytime soon. Don't get us wrong, it doesn't mean that there will not be 1883 Season 2. On the contrary, 1883 Season 2 is on its way, and we expect to welcome it around 2023. However, it will not be present in the format that we are used to. Contrary to regular TV shows that follow the pattern of one season after another under the same title, 1883 will continue under a different title series. That's to say, there will be yet another series titled 1932 as a follow-up, or Season 2, to 1883. However, this new series will have a new plot, new leading characters, and a new structure. Okay, now you may question how this will act as 1883 Season 2 if it will make everything different. Well, even though there will be a time jump, the leading character will be John Dutton Sr. This means that we will continue to follow the Dutton's legacy and watch the aftermath of 1883. So 1932 or 1883 Season 2 will change everything within the Yellowstone universe, as it will make sure that there will be multiple spin-offs each focusing on a different period in Dutton's history. Are you ready for 1932? Do you think you would be more pleased if there was simply 1883 Season 2? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.